Now, we always like to leave you with something weird or wonderful here on the UK tonight. And a 33-year-old from Belfast is set to become the first astronaut from Northern Ireland and the third British person ever to head into space. Rosemary Coogan graduated from space training earlier this week as a new European Space Agency astronaut. She follows in the footsteps of Helen Sharman, who was the first Brit to head into space back in 1989, and Tim Peake, who went to the International Space Station in 2015. Well, Rosemary will now take part in operational tasks until she is assigned a mission. I caught up with her a little earlier. You call it basic training, but I was just having a little look through what you've been doing over the past 12 months. I mean, there's everything on there from what you might expect an astronaut to train in, but there's diving, survival skills, medicine, photography. There was so much in there that people might not expect to be included in astronaut training. What about the 12 months surprised you? What was unexpected for you? It's, it's a really good point. I mean, for example, you, you brought up photography and I, was, I wasn't expecting to, to be having a course in photography during basic training. But actually, it's an incredibly important tool to use on the space station. Um, some of the particularly amazing outreach that we do, as well as kind of um, comparing how the Earth looks between one mission to the next, which is obviously really important for, for how our Earth is changing. But a lot of the important communication we do is done by taking pictures of the Earth. It's a fantastic vantage point from the ISS. So indeed, things like um, photography training were, were certainly a big surprise. But it's just been a really broad training in everything from engineering and systems to the, the practical trainings as well. I was interested in the survival skills because, of course, when you think about being an astronaut, you think about that mission, don't you? Either being on the International Space Station or doing a moonwalk or, or, or something like that. You don't necessarily think about the landing part of the mission coming back to Earth. And you had to go through what some, looks a little bit like a, a survival skills course to prepare you for if things don't go well when you land. Can you tell us a bit about that? Of course, we all watch the, the launches with great mm. excitement. And then there's the mission on board, which is the, the focus, getting that science done. But landing is a really important part of it. And doing that safely is challenging. And of course, if you come down, if you end up landing in an area that you weren't uh, anticipating landing in, it could be hours or even days before rescue teams can come to collect you. So the winter survival training was to teach us how to do that if we end up in an environment that is harsh, that is cold. Um Rosemary, you beat 22,500 other applicants um, to become an astronaut and go on this course. What do you think made you stand out? Um, I feel very, very fortunate to have been selected. And in terms of technical backgrounds, the, the selection was really to, to be a scientific background or engineering or medicine or a pilot, for example, were the, the big ones. But a lot of the selection process really focused on the psychological aspects, which I think is more difficult to, to evaluate in some senses. Um, and they've, they've really done a fantastic job of that because as a, as a team now, as a crew this year, we've been bonding really, really well. And um, it's a real pleasure to work with my teammates. What happens next? Presumably you continue training in some capacity. You wait to hear whether you've been selected for a mission. Have you had any unexpected advice from those astronauts that have gone before you? I think uh, a lot of the, the emphasis we've had from the experienced astronauts in terms of their advice, which isn't perhaps what you first think about when you start training as an astronaut, is, is really how, how patient you have to be. Um, of course, it's so exciting to be going to the training now. Um, and we're really lucky that we know we'll be going to the International Space Station for six months in the next few years mm -hmm. but of course you know there may well be a few years to wait and you have to make sure that you keep your skills current um you keep your training until that moment comes when you're assigned a mission so that's something that i think has been really valuable to hear firsthand from the uh, experienced colleagues what does it mean to you personally rosemary i mean we've talked about you being the newest uh, britain's newest astronaut the first astronaut from northern ireland what does it mean to you when you hear that it just it just fills me with just a, a such a sense of kind of gratitude and happiness, excitement. It's it's really been a, a dream for a very very long time, a dream that I did not expect to uh, to come true in that sense. And there's there's a lot of hard work and training ahead, um, but I think it's a really exciting time for space right now, um, for the UK and of course for for Europe and everyone. And so I'm so so happy to be uh, taking part in it.